You don't need to, you don't need to do that. You just need to stick to a process and a model that works for you. And when you get that clean slate in your mindset that all these things that you've piled onto yourself, I have to do this or it's not success. I have to make this much money or it's not success. I have to live up to this people on social media's expectations of me or I'm not going to be viewed as a successful ICT student. Fuck these motherfuckers. Fuck them. Even the people in our community are fucking too opinionated. Shut your fucking mouths. Shut the fuck up. Mind your own fucking business. You have no idea how impactful it is on people that are brand new, that are coming here, that are having a wonderful opportunity laid before them for free. And the toxicity fucking turns off immediately some of the people that would have otherwise had a change of life experience. See, some of you mistake what it is I do and what I'm responding to. These asshats that talk shit about me, I'm not physically losing sleep over this and I'm not selling anything so they're not taking sales from me. The only thing it's doing is bringing more traffic to my YouTube channel. But I'm talking to the people that are on the fence that may read these people's bullshit. And I'm just challenging you, take a little bit of your time that I'm not making any money off of. Try what it is I've taught. If it doesn't work, believe whatever you want to believe about me. Believe whatever the fuck anybody else says about me that's negative. Believe all of that shit. Go ahead. And feel good walking away from it. I want you to feel no guilt. But what if you do try it and you discover that these fucking clowns are just jealous and you have a change of life and you start finding a way for you to make your ends meet. What then? Will you have any time for people that's going to talk shit about me, you, and what you're trying to learn? Hell no. And that's what makes this community absolutely unbeatable. The folks that are really plugged in, the real parts of this community are the ones that are, they're the, they're the fibers that hold us together. Because they've done this. They've gone through the process of testing it and seeing it. And they know it's there. They see it. It's algorithmic. It's absolutely 100% manipulated, controlled, and you can time the fucking market on its basis. So there's no reason to be fearful of it. But everything outside of our community has an, has an issue with us because we're saying everything else is bullshit. And it is. It's a religion. Everything else out there is a religion. You're placing your faith and belief in something that has absolutely no bearing on why price and when price is going to do anything. If I was a fraud, the things I said to you and teach wouldn't be in your charts when they are. I would not be able to show you the examples. I sure as fuck wouldn't be risking real money with it. And what do you see? What have you experienced? What do you have in your hands that you can compare and contrast against everybody else's opinion versus what you see as fact? Except for me going into your house with you and trading your account right in front of you, I've done everything. Use real money. Used a real reputable broker. I went in and did TD Ameritrade. I went out there and showed you live talking every single candlestick. I did an execution in front of you live and it did it to the fucking tick. I don't need to do that every day. I understand. I know the ploy. These people want to goat me into. I have to prove it. If we keep saying he can't and won't do it, he'll just have to do it. The fuck I do. I don't have to do a fucking thing. I've already done more than all of you. All of you. And when I talk like this, I'm talking to the people that are afraid to make a time investment. You see these people say, oh, nobody's making money. Well, look around, motherfuckers. They're all over the place. You see their face and you hear their voices and you see the companies paying them. But there's no fucking profitable students. Nobody's making money with this stuff. You're fucking liars, man. You're liars. And that's the wonderful thing about social media. It preys on the fucking laziness of people. Oh, if this person said that about it, that must be true. 
You allow. That's what social media has been designed for. It's been engineered for that very thing. It's brainwashing. And your fucking IQ level is a fucking testimony that you believe in everything that you fucking hear without testing it yourself. I have done everything I humanly can fucking do. I literally, I'm at my wit's end. I cannot do anything more than what I've done here by teaching you what my very own son is now using. And Top Step is not owned by me. I have no affiliation with them. They're not paying me any fucking money. I literally have nothing to do with them. I don't know anything about that fucking shit. Nothing. My son's in there trading a strip down to the chrome, very simple approach. And I'm challenging you, you dickheads that are fucking unprofitable. They're trying to help, you know, hawk shit and sell stuff and courses and mentorships, all that other bullshit. You show me a hundred percent fucking winning day track record. Let's see who has the most winning fucking days. My son or your Mickey Mouse bullshit. Whatever the fuck it is, hundred percent win rate. Every single fucking day. That's where he's at. How many winning days in average will he have before he hits that $10,000 mark? You demand these, these fucking jokers prove that. It, my, my son's doing it through a third-party fucking uh, entity, Top Step. He's at my house. He logs in the fucking shit on a laptop. And right there it is. Showing you just like it is. If it's fake, if it's false, Top Step, you come out and fucking say it's not real. You come out and fucking say it. You can't fake these fucking results, folks. If it's being done on a live account, it's fucking right there. It's not demo. If it's being done and you're, everybody's into this funded account shit, okay, wonderful. Maybe that's the reason why the Lord said and, and spoke to Cameron and said, I want to do that. Maybe that's his way of doing it because he moves in mysterious ways, right? Some of you need to see these things happen. Well, there it is. You can do what he's doing. Every single one of you can do this. Every single fucking one of you can do this. But you're in your own way. Some of you are in your feelings. Some of you are fucking scared to death. Some of you believe the bullshit, the drama fucking marketing these fucking people are doing because they can't draw attention to their fucking channels without having this kind of stuff. Where's the risk? Where the fuck is the risk for you to just spend a couple weeks? Just spend a couple weeks. Commit to four weeks. I promise you, if you spent the four weeks doing what I'm telling you to do, you'll be convinced that it's worthwhile sticking with it. And it costs you nothing. And if it's fraud, if it's fucking fake, it doesn't work. If it fails, show us what you did. So that way we can see that you made an honest attempt instead of going out on social media. Like I had a student that fucking left, tried to do algo box. He come out there and did all his bullshit because then he said, do this, do this, do this, not give you free access and blah, blah, blah. He bought his little fucking computer, had all his fucking charts up there and he was showing his market replay reports and he's talking all kinds of shit. Well, guess what? He's turned his fucking video channel off. All his videos are fucking made private because I guarantee you, like I told him privately, I wish you luck at what you're doing, but I already know what your problem is, is you. And where's Algo Box success story in that? Crickets, motherfucker! Crickets. Because it was the student's baseline issue himself. Some of you are just not going to be able to do this. It matters not who's teaching you what. Period. But that's the discovery. You have to find out what your character flaws are. You have to go through that beginning process. And some of you have to go through that a lot longer because you don't want to let go of the painful fucking problematic issues that are plaguing you and preventing you from finding the fucking success that you think you deserve and want. But you're never going to obtain it because you can't get out of your own fucking way. That's the reality. That's the unfucking sugar coated fucking way of telling you. And some of you get offended. I don't fucking care because it's the reality. I would want someone to tell me this is the way it is. Michael, this is, you're getting ready to do this. It's going to be hard. This is where you're going to fuck up. Now let's go through a process of finding out where your fuck up problems, these root core issues. You have to find out where they are and be fucking humbled by them in the beginning before you put money at risk. Humble fucking beginnings. How do you build equity from humble beginnings? You've learned. You have learned who the fuck you are. And guess what? You're all fuck ups. I was a fuck up in the beginning. And guess what? 
you learn. Oh, I keep making the same mistake. How do I know I'm keep making this mistake? Because I'm journaling it. I'm recording what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, why I see this. Why do I think it's going to appear in the chart? Am I mad about something? Am I going into the marketplace on an emotional high? Everything feels good. And I feel like, well, you know, I mean, I can't lose. Let me go in there. All those things are characteristics are going to, they're going to repeat. And you need to identify what they are because if they're hurting you, you need to go right to the root cause of what causes that. And if you have that in your mind before you press the button, it's better for you not to take the trade then. Until you wrestle these demons into submission. Otherwise, you'll talk yourself into doing shit that you shouldn't be doing. And talking yourself out of the things you should be. Folks, I'm sorry, but they don't make fucking trading psychology books that's going to tell you this. But this is exactly what the fuck you need to hear. You're listening to somebody that went through it. And I begged everybody that had more experience than me. Please direct me to books. Direct me to teachers. Direct me to somebody that knows how to conquer all this stuff. I'm wrestling all these things and I can't figure it out. Well, just like I promised you, if you journal, <laughs> you're making the fucking best fucking trading book ever. And you're writing it yourself. And it's strange because... It should never be shared with anybody. That makes it a treasure. That makes it an heirloom that you can pass on to your children. That that was a time capsule every day of your life. What you were thinking that day. The decisions that you were making that day that helped frame the legacy that they're living off of now. In the future. That's a unique experience that people can't get the same from a photograph you can have photographs and old movies and eight millimeter films and you know all kinds of shit but it's totally different when you see the blueprints of what your future family is going to live off of what you did the engineering moments of how you put all this stuff together for you to make it work for you how you framed every decision that you're making financially for you and your future and your family's future and the legacy wealth that you're creating. But you think it's something you shouldn't do. It's a time waster. Oh, it's this, that, and the other thing. I promise you, folks, I promise you this. Anybody worth their salt as a trader making serious money, they're journaling and they did journal. Nobody swings by the seat of their pants and just says, well, you know, I'm just going to wing it. There can be people that do that. Gamblers come into the casinos every year and take down big hauls. But are they doing it every year? Every month? No. They're just a flash in a pin. Just everything lined up for them right then. Do you want your, you want your trading to be like that? Do you want your success to be hinged on the basis of a lottery-like win? Some of you said, I don't give a fuck how it comes as long as I can get it, right? <laughs> I'm just cut from a different cloth. I want to feel good that I earned it. I want to feel good that I'm teaching you a method that can be transferable. And I absolutely have proven it's transferable. I have people all around the world and many of them making serious salaries off of trading now. And they're just underneath the cusp of becoming millionaires. And guess what? You're not going to see ever an algo box. You ever come out with proof that they're a millionaire. You're never going to see a $600,000 algo box profitable trader in real money, not market replay reports. Vinny, I'm sorry that I have to talk this way to you. I never wanted to do these things. And when we were talking privately, I told you all these things. I said, I'm not the person you're making me out to be. I invited you to have me and my wife share a dinner with you a year ago. And I told you I didn't have nothing to do with Shane Fields doing whatever the hell he did that day. And I thought that was a skit. I thought that that was something that was cooked up by you. And then when that guy started talking all that shit, I was like, what the hell? That was nuts. So I'm anxious to see when you get to court with that whole show. And when you hear that man tell you I had absolutely nothing to do with that. I absolutely expect an apology because you have a title on one of those videos, that very video. You're claiming that I'm a child molester. Do you have any idea the the liability that you have doing that? 
I want you to understand something. And I'm making this public again. I had nothing to do with that. Zero. And the things that you're spinning off on about, absolutely baseless and untrue. I would never do that. Never. The things that you've said about my family and my children are absolutely heinous and they're untrue. And you've done more damage to your image and your brand than I ever could do. You need to take stock in what it is you're doing. You might be making a little bit of money off of revenue, but that shit's going to dry up. It's all going to dry up. And once it's on the internet, it never really goes away. And your children, as precious and beautiful as they are right now, they're going to grow up. And they're going to see these things that people are saying about you. And it's going it, it to, you don't see it or feel it right now. But that shame is going to be very, very deep in its cuts. I did not one time have any intentions of doing anything to bring you any kind of harm or shame. That's never happened. That doesn't mean I wouldn't whip your fucking ass in a trading competition. So I know, and you fucking know it too. I would dismantle you. You did not join that Robbins Cup. And you know damn fucking well that the shit you put out there supposedly by Joe Robbins or whatever the fuck it's supposed to be. That, that, that guy did not fucking say I went out there and blew four or five, six fucking accounts or whatever. It never fucking happened. That never fucking happened. All this stuff is bullshit you need to take stock in what you're doing there's i'm sure i'm certain that you're taking notes on what i'm teaching i'm absolutely certain everything that you have been doing for the last five or seven years has been inspired by me whether you fucking want to admit it publicly or not you've done it a few times in your live streams where you say oh yeah the j-hook that's ict's optimal trade entry yep I even told you to code this stuff. If you can do it, I have users, well, not users, but I have students that would use your shit if you could really do it and make it consistent. Take all that shit off your charts, all that bloated bullshit. You're getting there. It's slowly happening. 